I need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to stay on parade, but I f***ing want to stay on parade. This is the best. <laughs> Nikola Jokic. Gosh, what a guy. Ever wondered why he is so unique? From getting bullied by his criminal brothers to growing up in a literal war zone, Nikola Jokic has his fair share of secrets. The two-time MVP and champion really does embody his Joker persona. His past can either put a smile on your face or give you chills. Stay tuned till the end as we dive deep into some wild stories that the two-time NBA MVP doesn't want you to know. Jokic is on top of the world, but it hasn't always been this way. In fact, his childhood was pretty rough from an early age. In 1995, he was born in somber Serbia, where he lived a modest life with his family. What you don't know is that in 1999, modern Serbia was an all-out war with NATO forces. It became clear that NATO was not messing around. They bombed Serbia for two and a half months, destroying cities and electrical power plants. It's estimated that the death toll was anywhere from 1,000 to 2,500 people, with thousands more injured. A four-year-old Jokic and his family had to spend their lives right in the middle of this war zone, without electricity for weeks. Can you imagine hearing bombs go off beside you in sheer darkness? Imagine going outside after and seeing your neighbors' homes, cities' buildings, and roads all destroyed. The emotional toll that must have had on the nation. It's like something out of a Hollywood movie, except it was real life for them. But wait, because the chaos didn't stop there. Even after the bombing subsided, Nikola had to face abuse from bullying from his own older brothers, Nemanja and Shrainya. They would hold Nikola down by his arms to throw knives around his head just for the heck of it. Talk about a rough childhood. But the trouble with Jokic's siblings didn't end there. Back in 2019, his brother Shrainya found himself in hot water when he was arrested for allegedly choking and assaulting a woman. Yeah, you heard that right. In a Denver apartment after a night of drinking, Shrainya was arguing with a woman about her dating history. In a full rage, he assaulted the woman. The woman tried to escape, but Shrainya wasn't having any of it. He shoved her and held her against her will. But it gets even crazier. In a desperate bid for help, the woman made her way to the balcony and started screaming. That's when Shrainya grabbed her and started choking her. The situation took an even more disturbing turn when the woman tried to call 911, but Strainya snatched away her phone, leaving her with little hope. Fortunately, she managed to use a computer to send a message for help to someone she knew, who quickly called the police. But of course, legally, things were a mess. Jokic's brother was charged with second degree assault, a felony, along with two misdemeanors, false imprisonment, and obstruction of phone service. But he received a deferred sentence, and the criminal charges ended up getting dropped. Both Nemanja and Strainya were basketball players, but they are now just notorious with how they act at Jokic's games. Although Nemanja, the eldest brother of the three, is currently an undefeated MMA fighter, Strainya is the one that continues to find himself in the most trouble. Strainya's anger even reached such heights that he had to be physically restrained by a security guard during one intense moment with referee. Let's be real for a moment here. Jokic treats his NBA career more like a 9-to-5 job than anyone. Do you remember how he acted after winning the 2023 title and finals MVP? You know, nobody likes his, uh, his job, or maybe they do. They're lying. It was obvious he was just straight up tired and couldn't wait to go back to Serbia. Once he got a bit of champagne in him, he finally loosened up. Anyways, the real reason Jokic is who he is today is because of his father. His father had such a passion for the game and essentially forced it on all of his sons. Jokic did not love the sport at first. His first true love, more than anything, is horse racing. Yep, while his peers were dribbling and shooting, he was more interested in hanging with his horses. Picture this, a team where the best player is a kid who couldn't care less about basketball. Jokic would stroll in with a nonchalant attitude while his teammates were grinding their way to earn minutes and make it into the pros. His coaches in Serbia couldn't believe it. They rarely encountered someone like Jokic, who had the talent but lacked the burning desire for the game. Against all odds, he embarked on a journey that would catapult him to the pinnacle of the NBA. Even now, in his NBA Prime, you will find him watching horse racing on his phone during timeouts, halftime, 
post games basically at all times. I love that. Can you imagine if he truly devoted himself to only basketball? It's crazy to think how much better he really could be. He's truly one of a kind. Jokic's uniqueness doesn't stop there. What's even more shocking were Jokic's eating habits. This dude, who was dominating on the court, had the worst diet known to mankind. Picture this. He would drink nearly a gallon of Coke and chow down on about a half a pound of pastries throughout the day. We've all seen the photos of him as a kid, not someone who you'd consider to look like an athlete. Thankfully, when Jokic joined the Denver Nuggets, they knew something had to change. Former trainer Steve has spilled the beans on Jokic's shocking transformation. He said when he arrived, Jokic was a hefty 295 pounds with a diet of mostly candy and sugary drinks. But Hess knew better. They got Jokic off that deadly combo and his diet drastically improved over the years. And here's the real shocker. Jokic reportedly managed to shed over 50 pounds during that period. That's right, he went from looking like a pudgy doughboy to reportedly having abs at one point. Believe it or not, Jokic has since stated that he actually prefers playing at a heavier weight, now listed at about 285. But hey, can we really talk? This man has skyrocketed up the all-time ranks, so I guess the joke is on us. Now, draft nights are always special, but here's a story that'll leave you a little confused. Because when Nikola Jokic's name was called during the 2014 draft, a Taco Bell commercial stole all the spotlight. Imagine this. The anticipation is building, and the tension in the air is palpable. It's the moment every player dreams of. Their name being announced on draft night. But for Jokic, that special moment was hijacked by the chime of the Taco Bell jingle. At least it's not that insanely annoying Whopper commercial. Bacon Whopper, I rule this day. That Burger King commercial is the modern day Rick Roll, but way less entertaining. But guess what? Jokic was sleeping during all of this. He didn't bother going to the draft. He was just chilling in Serbia. Why, you ask? He was reportedly still contemplating on whether he even wanted to play in the NBA at that point. After the draft, his family tried to come over with champagne to celebrate, but Jokic just told them all that he was sleeping. Imagine that. Jokic is now a Denver Nuggets legend. Did you know that Jokic almost didn't join the team? He almost slipped through the NBA's fingers and in the lap of the European basketball powerhouse, FC Barcelona. Yeah, you heard that right. This isn't just some wild rumor. Before Jokic made the leap to the NBA, Barcelona had their sights set on him. They were prepared to roll out the red carpet for Jokic tempting him with the promise of Euroleague stardom. It was an offer that could have changed the course of his career forever. According to Misko Raznadovic, the man who discovered Jokic and was involved in the negotiations said the deal with Barcelona was almost sealed. They had followed Jokic's every move, watched him dominate on the court, and the contract was ready to go. All that remained was to iron out the final details. The night before the contract was supposed to be signed, disaster struck. In a cruel twist of fate, Jokic had the worst performance of his entire life. Think of a Ben Simmons or James Harden type of meltdown. The scouts from Barcelona were in attendance, witnessing it all. And that performance made them question everything. They needed some time to reevaluate their plans and think about whether they really want to take the bet on Jokic. But guess what? The player had already made up his mind. In a move that caught everyone off guard, Jokic chose the NBA. He didn't even wait for Barcelona to get back to him. He packed his bags, left Europe behind, and came to the US. The Denver Nuggets became his new home, and the rest, of course, is history. The most chill and unassuming NBA player ever is now an NBA champion and finals MVP. He racks up triple doubles on the court and double doubles off of it. What's insane is that he's just entering his prime, and we're all here for it. How many more championships and MVPs do you think Jokic will win? Where will he end up in all-time rankings? Let us know in the comments.